Hello everyone, welcome back to Jamaican Vibes. It's your truly Shan Zen Zen. And we are at the Sydney Pagan STEM Academy, formerly known as the Elam Agricultural School. So today we're highlighting the school. We're gonna be speaking to the principal, a few of the teachers, so you can get a better understanding of what the Sydney Pagan STEM Academy is all about. So for all the young people out there looking into agriculture as a career, this video is definitely for you. Education and agriculture should always go hand in hand. So it's indeed a pleasure to be highlighting this school. Thank you so much for making it Shenzhen Zen Jamaican Vibes. So today we're highlighting the Sydney Pagan STEM Academy Formerly the Sydney Pagan Agricultural School, but initially it was called the Elam Agricultural School. So I'm just going to give you a brief history of the school before we get on with the video. So the Sydney Pagan STEM Academy came into being as a result of an education sector survey, which was done in 1973. So a report from the survey stated, that the education system was entrusted with the job of awakening and guiding the interests of some of its students toward an agricultural career. It was a joint effort between USAID and the government of Jamaica that saw the identification of lands for the school in 1976. And subsequently, building programs were launched between 1978 and 1979. The school admitted its first batch of students in February 1979. The late Sidney Ralph Pagan, a member of parliament for North East St. Elizabeth, was very instrumental in the construction of the school, hence it was named in his honor. In September 2014, the institution was upgraded to a STEM academy and admitted its first population of grade 7 students from the grade 6 achievement test placement. So in case you're wondering what the acronym STEM stands for, it's Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. So the team of Shenzhen Zen Jamaican Vibes had the pleasure of speaking with the principal, Mr. Milbert Miller. And this is what he had to say. We're here with the principal of this noble institution, the Sydney Pagan STEM Academy, formerly known as the um, ELM School of Agriculture. Good afternoon, first and foremost. Good afternoon. All right. Um, so how long you've been the principal here, sir? I have been the principal at Sydney Pagan STEM Academy for four years. Four years? Yes. And how have the community members um, received you? Well, the school and the community enjoys a very good Good relationship right I can tell you that when I came here a number of community members came and lend a helping hand to the school in cleaning up exercises helping on the farm and some persons are being employed now to do some of the tasks that you know we have occurring because of the increased enrollment so right. we you know employ persons from the community that's one of the questions I was about yes. to ask you so that's great all right so I know that the um the academy doesn't just serve the community of Elam or surrounding, but how far um, from here you have students coming in from? All right. So if we go east, we go as far as into Manchester. If we go south, we go as far as Nain, Leeds, Malvern, Schoolfield area, coming all the way down to Santa Cruz. Wow. We go to the north, we go as far as Thornton, Balaclava, Roses Valley, Oxford. Right. And if we go towards our west, we go as far as Pisgah, Ginger Hill, and Luana, all of that area. So we have students coming from a wide, you know, cross sector of communities in St. Elizabeth, as well as adjoining parishes. Oh, that's awesome. So um, from what age group do you start taking students, and to what age group would you say you start? Well, the Sydney Pagan STEM Academy since 2014 has been admitting students from grade 7. Currently, we are doing the grade 7 to 11 program, and you know, the new program coming on for the, from the Minister of Education dealing with grade 11, grades 12, and 13 program. Mm -hmm. And that is what we are now implementing, see, com commencing this year. 
so eventually students will be going from grade 7 all the way to grade 13. Okay. They will be able to specialize in a wide variety of programs, programs through hard to the occupational degree. We also are looking at offering an associate degree in agriculture. Wow. We are looking forward Excellent. to have our students transition from Sydney Pig and Sem Academy after completing at grade 12 or 13 with their associate into colleges like Case and other universities to complete. That's amazing. I'm so happy to hear because I've been doing a series of videos on farming and I said I have to highlight, I cannot be in St. Elizabeth and not highlight this place. So um, what do you offer in terms of the programs? Right. Sydney Pagan STEM Academy is the only STEM Academy in the parish of St. Elizabeth. It's the only one in region, um, in this region as a high school. Mm -hmm. It is a traditionally known institution for agriculture. Mm -hmm. Here we do greenhouse technology. We have apiculture, we have poultry, we have livestock, um, pigre, um, dairy herd, uh, as well as a beef herd. We have small ruminants, sheep, goats, as oh, well. We wow. have rabbits also. And so the students are exposed to a wide cross section of agricultural um, learning and, and, and curriculum. Right, right. We, 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 are currently doing a minor program where all students who enter this institution, regardless of their vocational area, they can specialize in an area of agriculture. That's so if amazing. they choose not to do agriculture fully, but they have an interest in poultry, they can do poultry and be certified through hard. And right. so we are creating multiple options so that our students can be more marketable right. and that when they enter the world stage of work, they can impact Jamaica in a positive way. Oh, wonderful. Do you have like events and special events yearly that you do to incorporate like communities or the community members? All right. Like because of COVID, mm -hmm. I, I, I must say we are, we are going to be seriously challenged this academic school year. Mm -hmm. Because every two years we stage what is known as our STEM, um, STEM careers day okay. and projects. Because on that day, the students will display the projects that they would have created. Here at Sydney Pig and Sem Academy, our students have used um, breadfruit, mm -hmm. dried it, made it into flour, and used it to make a diverse um, number of products. Whoa. So our home economics and, and through STEM, we involve all the, the subject areas in that project. A year before that, we will look at coconut mm -hmm. as a, a, a major theme. So each year, we choose a theme that we're focusing on to showcase come STEM Day. Um, next year, May, would be our STEM day. Okay. We are hoping that if we can't do it physically, we will be doing it virtually. And of course, the whole world will see the products that our students would have made um, in their various programs. So we are looking forward to that. We also have our Founders Day. February 12th is the Founders Day, where we invite our past students to come back and share all as right. we celebrate the, the, the growth of the institution. So we do a lot of programs, extracurricular activities, sports and so forth, where we invite um, our community members. We have concerts and so forth. Like Amazing. It involve um, our community and we get good support from our community. So we continue to champion the cause of agriculture in this valley. I am so happy to be here interviewing you, sir, today. And I thank you so much for the interview. Of course, you know, I have to highlight the school, as I said before, because I am from St. Elizabeth and I love farming. I do farming myself. So thank you so much for the interview. And just before you go, may yeah. I tell you, if there's any student out there who wants to specialize in agriculture, here's a place you need to look. Going into a high school and you think agriculture is a bit best fit for you, you can contact us. 995-4048 and then if you um, are even interested more we have products that we sell to the community we do eggs um, because we have a layer um, mm -hmm. two layer, a layer um, unit that we do eggs that we sell to supermarkets so look out for the stem eggs on your supermarket shelves we, Amazing. Do, we have an abattoir that we, we, we sell meat chicken pork beef and such alike and from time to time when we have our agricultural products we do sell to the community and to the wider um, parish so supermarket chain talk to us okay come and see us and our students are doing fantastic and i want to um big up all of my students who had their eight and nine and 
and, 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 and seven C6 subjects, all grade ones and so forth. I want to big them up as a transition to higher level education. So big up STEM, STEM all the way. Okay, thank you so much. We also had the opportunity to speak with Miss Hibbert, a math teacher at the Sydney Pagan STEM Academy. And this is what she had to say. Okay, so this is Miss Hibbert and she's a math teacher here at the Sydney Pagan STEM Academy. And so Miss um, Hibbert, how has the experience been here? Have you had any challenges with the children? Well, I did my teaching practice here in September and January. Then I became an official teacher here. The experience has been one where it is a little bit challenging, but I look forward to the challenges. I look forward to teaching the students. I look forward to them corresponding with me. I can't say that it has been a smooth sailing though, but I'm working with the students. The students are working with me and we're doing well thus far. Being here in this environment has taught me a lot. And I must say that I'm grateful for being at this specific STEM Academy, Sydney Pagan STEM Academy, because it has taught me so much that I know I would not have learned outside in another school. So I am happy, I am thankful, and I'm grateful for this school. Um, has it been challenging um, keeping the students apart, being that the, the COVID and the six feet apart? Um, issue that has been challenging? Well, when we had the C6 students coming in, yes, it was a little bit challenging because you know, they're students, they're teenagers, they want to um, hug their friends, talk their friends close, so that's what they're accustomed to. So that was a little bit challenging, but we overcame, they adopted, we were doing our six feet apart, we were um, sanitizing, washing our hands, and it became the new norm. We understood what was happening. We learned, we learned, we did well together. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much for speaking with us. You are welcome. We also spoke briefly with one of the agriculture teacher at the institution. Okay guys, so we're here with Miss Nelson. She's the agriculture teacher here at the Sindipagan State Academy, and she is in charge of the rabbit breeding, <laughs> rabbit, production. rabbit production. So she teaches the students um, about the rabbit, how to groom it, carrot and so forth. But let her explain it to you guys. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Sydney Pig and Rabbit Tree, where we produce rabbit for tutorial aspect, not for commercial. Um, and the school compound, what we normally do is to breed the rabbit in order for the student to know about rabbit production. On the school campus now, the only breed of rabbit that we have is the New Zealand. So we have the New Zealand black and the New Zealand white. All right, so, so let's go and look at it. Let's see how, how they look. Okay, so this is the white? Yes, so that is the New Zealand white. But if you could take a closer look, you can see that some of the, the rabbits are, are so grey. Mm -hmm. Now, whenever you have a parent that is black and a parent that is white, whenever they mate together, the offspring will be grey. Right. right. Okay. This one is big. It's the same breed? Yes, it's the same breed. New Zealand. But those are the more mature okay okay females. okay so the smaller they be that means they are <coughs> immature they don't reach the mature stage as yet so what you do you teach the kids how to be right so what we do is to teach the student about rabbit production mm -hmm. talking about the different breeds of rabbit or you go about to care and handle the rabbit mm -hmm. and what type of um green feed is appropriate to feed the rabbit mm -hmm. because you just can't go into the, the bush or into the open field and give the rabbit any and any kind of grass or weed. This is very informative. Thank you so much for speaking with us. She actually have a class right now, so I'm going to allow her to go, get back to her class. So thank you for the, the brief um, session with us. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. We also spoke with Miss Dito Williams, an employee at the institution and an active community and member. One of the most active member in the community here in Elam is Miss Dita Williams and she's also an employee at the Cindy Pagan Stent Academy. What are some of the activities that you take part in in the community? 
Well, basically, um, I am with the young people who are very bright and have good, manageable reputation. And one of the things we do with the young people, we have encouraged them to have good behaviors mm -hmm. and um, very accurate. I always with them doing homeworks. Right. We have done literacy program. We have done lots of encouraging things into the community. Right. You have um, sports program, right? We have sport programs. Sometimes we have overseas people who visit us. We have literacy programs. Mm -hmm. We have a variety of things doing right now. And you're very active in and this I am department. Very you help them with homework, we help right? With homework with or with spellings, right. any fields and areas, we always assist them. So what exactly do you do at, um, the, what part of the agricultural department do you work in? Well, basically I work yeah. in the department of agriculture where I do seedling, we do planting, of sweet peppers, hot pepper, cabbage, scallion, mm -hmm. a lot of variety of things. Now we are doing a program with castor bean. Right. So, you know, we do a lot of things. We have, also have egg wearing, we have pig wearing, we have dairy, all kind of stuff. At the Sydney Pagan, and I am okay. very warm and welcome working with them. They are so nice people who work here. Okay, that's very good. It's very good that you have a school like this in your community, and then they can employ members of the community. Mm -hmm. So they are not just educating, but they are helping mm -hmm. to create. They are creating employment for members of the community as well. So this is very good, and I laud them for that. This is the greenhouse, and Miss Dita William is going to tell us all about it because she's in charge of it. Um, now we have some seedling. Now we have some seedling in place, and also some um, some um, tomatoes. And the tomatoes are um, three 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 weeks old. Also the pepper. Some of the peppers are one month old, and some is three uh, weeks old. Okay. And then we have here some cabbage, some um, some um, pap chai. But right. the pap chai is not doing well, and. You know, we just know that the hot peppers, these are the hot peppers, and we have some tomatoes over there. Okay. And the other side here, we have some, uh, we have some castor beans. Oh, you have castor beans over here? Yeah, we have some castor beans. And those that we were looking before on is are tomatoes and, and sweet peppers. And, and hot peppers. Hot, hot peppers. peppers. Oh. And these are some, these are some castor beans. Oh, these are castor beans. Yeah, what I, are these used for? These are used for purposes of um, fluid in for planes. Fluid in for planes? Fluid in. They, what, after when they the bear and they reap the, the seeds, right. they use it to make fluid for the flying of the plane. Really? So I am the person who done the seedling. Okay, okay. This is my job. I done the seedling. Oh, these wow. Done, uh, I learned something new every day. So they yes. use these castor beans to, to, for the fluid, fuel of the plane. Yeah, because they use it to make this. this the oil to flow the plane. Oh, okay. So I am the person who done the seasoning. Uh -huh. Inside this greenhouse, I've done sweet a lot of sweet peppers and also um, tomatoes. But it's empty now. You have any other projects coming no, up? No, we have project coming up now. We have we're going to do some seedlings. Right. Of hot pepper and sweet pepper also. Okay. So these are the areas that we, I have done my most of my job. All right. So. Good. Thank you so much, Dita Williams, for speaking with us. And we managed to get two words, literally two words, from one of the students. Mr. Miller is a very good principal. He... Yeah, she was a bit shy. But all in all, it was a very eventful day. I really enjoyed the visit. And if you are interested in becoming a part of this noble institution, you can always contact the principal. He's very easy to talk to. He gave out his contact number at the first part of the video, but in case you miss it, you can always use Google. But you can speak to them and you'll get all your questions answered. And I must say the staff was very warm and welcoming. So until the next video, walk good and make good doppy walk with you. And remember, we little but we talawa. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the post notification bell.